Here I'll show you how to make a button on the ribbon menu for your macros. So look here on my home tab all the way to the right, we have a custom button for a macro. So if I click it, it'll run the macro. Oh, hi there. <laughs> it is an awesome little feature. And this works if you're in a later versions of Excel. So let's check it out. All right, I just removed the button. So now we have a nice clean home tab here at the end and you can put it on pretty much any tab that you want. So here, let's put a button on the home tab for our macro. First, we go to file, then down to options and customize ribbon. And here we have all sorts of awesome options for customizing our ribbon menu. It's really cool, definitely worth playing around with. But what we want to do is go here to where it says popular commands and choose macros. So that's right, you can choose all the macros that you have accessible to you from this workbook, you will see here. So macros that you have in this workbook or in your personal macro workbook, they'll all be visible here and you can add a button for them to the ribbon menu. If you don't know what the personal macro workbook is, it is awesome. This one is in that workbook, which is why it says personal.xlsb in front of it. It allows you to store macros so that every instance of Microsoft Excel, every workbook can access that macro. And if you have an item on the ribbon menu, you're going to want to store the macro for that item or button there because the button will be there for every instance of Excel. If you don't know how to add a personal macro workbook, just watch the tutorial for that. I'll put the link in the description for this video. So we are going to choose the macro that we want. Then we go over here. We can leave the customize the ribbon little option at main tabs and let's choose home tab so we can put the button there and let's create a new group. So I'm going to go down here, click new group, new group custom. Let's click it one more time, rename it. I'm going to call it my macros hit OK. And now click the correct macro hit add and the macro is over there, but it's going to have kind of a funky name at first. So let's click it again and let us rename it and we can rename it to, Hey, a little smiley face or whatever you want. And you can choose an icon for it, a different icon. These icons are really not very good. I have to say, but choose whatever you want. Oops. That's a goofy smiley face. Isn't it? There we go. <laughs> Hit okay. Okay. And there we go, my macros and a little button for my macro and I click it and it runs. I love this. It used to be a lot more difficult to customize the ribbon. Now it is so easy. And if you want to remove it, very simple. So just go back to file, options, customize ribbon, choose the thing you'd like to remove and then just go to remove right here. Click remove then hit OK and it'll be off the ribbon menu. So that's how you make a custom button for the ribbon menu for your macros for Excel.